In today's uh, presentation, I will be talking about uh, carbon fibers. Carbon fibers are materials that uh, are carbon materials that are good conductors of electricity. They have high stiffness. Uh, they are resistant to chemicals. Have a high thermal uh, tolerance. Uh, in today's presentation, I will be showing some carbon fibers. These uh, carbon fibers. I bought them together. This is a uh, uh, 1.5 uh, millimeter thick. All right. So I want to show you a test for this um, carbon fiber. I have my LED lights. Uh, these are uh, uh, three. Uh, these are cells. Two or more cells to make up a battery. 1.5, 1.5. I'm going to test to show that. Uh, Common fiber is a good conductor of uh, electricity. Okay, you can see it's conducting. Okay, connecting the clips, it's, it's conducting. All right. Okay. It's a non-metal. It's a non-metal. It's a carbon fiber. Okay, carbon is a non-metal. Uh, all right. So I'm going to clip this and also see. Pushing these bits together, it really, really conducts very, very well. In the next uh, experiment, I'll be showing a, uh, a carbon fiber uh, under electrolysis. All right. So we'll move on to the next uh, experiment uh, using the carbon fibers for electrolysis as ele electrodes for electrolysis. All right. So in this particular presentation, uh, this particular part of this experiment, I won't be using this uh, battery. I will be using this uh, 12 volt DC uh, battery. All right. So and uh, this is water. I'll be adding salt into it. Okay. So I'm going to be doing electrolysis. What is electrolysis? As electrolysis is just uh, the decomposition of a compound by passing electricity into it by passing direct current into it. So this is uh, the current. If I put this electrode, definitely we will be seeing some bubbling action there. You can see some bubbling action there. All right. So I'm going to remove it and I'm going to test uh, these electrodes. So I'm using carbon fiber as uh, my electrodes. Let's see. Okay. You can see the bubbles coming. Bubbles. Okay. okay. Uh, it's working perfectly there. Bubbles are attached to this uh, more. You don't stop. You pause it. Okay. So if you look closely, it's uh, producing a. It's producing chlorine and it's also producing a hydrogen. Okay. At this uh, red part, it's producing chlorine at this part. Okay. And the uh, oxygen. Though I won't be testing for chlorine, I will be testing for hydrogen at this point. All right. And from uh, the experiment. Uh, it's very obvious that uh, this particular plate, uh, it's not like uh, the other graphite plates where part of it, the, the particles go into solution. This one it doesn't, doesn't, peel, doesn't stay. Like the other graphite is quite soft and it goes into solution, not be useful for any electrolysis work. Okay, these ones, I uh, believe they are. They work very well. I'm uh, proposing that uh, I want to use it for bleach production and uh, also HHO generators as well. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.